Hello? Can anyone hear me? Well, we'll find out if anyone shows up for this. I know it's a bit spur of the moment. But I need to work on this, and I thought, might as well stream it, maybe chat with some people, you know? But it's something I gotta work on for my resume, so it's kind of important, I guess. So, until I get some chatters, I'm just gonna work, if that's fine. Thank you.
can see a chat on my phone, so I guess that's fine. I on this thing. This caps lock. Oh. 
Oh yeah, that's my jam. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, Odd. How you doing? <laughs> Doing well? Well, that's good. You seem not so sure about that, though. asking me huh yeah I'm doing okay <laughs> I'm like oh <laughs> I see how it is oh uh, yeah but I'm doing quite all right I just kind of like got to work on this thing so I can finally submit that resume I meant to submit it in, like a while ago I've been working on this illustration since earlier this year, and I just kept getting busy doing other stuff. How about you? How you doing? Meh. Why? What's wrong? Having a mad day or something? I'm glad I got to see it for a minute at least. I hope your day gets better. Oh good, I'm glad. The, I have a good taste in music, I think. So I think it's uh, very soothing and, you know, helps relax the soul and revitalize it, you know. <laughs> kind of like this brush. Like, I'm using this smudge tool and I'm like, wow, this is actually pretty nice. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Oh, thank you! Hey, Kane, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. Ducks are always swag, that's why you gotta show that. You know, like those Kentucky Derby ducks, they always have those really neat sunglasses on. People need to appreciate them more often, you know. Okay, cool, thank you. Appreciate it. Hope everything goes well for ya. Glad you're doing good, Kane.
I swear this like smudge thing I'm doing right now is so like soothing and therapeutic with the music. <laughs> I'm just getting lost in it. do okay there it is
<laughs> Thank you. I love having the harvest music in it. <laughs> Some of them are admittedly from other games, but I really love game music, so... You know, music without words and has a nice pizzazz to it. Like, this song in particular is from Pokemon Coliseum. Yep. Mm hmm They're the ones you can't really catch Pokemon, but you, uh, had to, like, heal them or something. Like, with the flute from Celebi or something like that. I believe. Yeah. You had to snag them from, like, the enemies, which goes against all of the different rules in the games where you can't steal other trainers' Pokemon. <laughs> but oh well, it's for a good cause, right? <laughs> I know, I play- I almost finished the whole game. I think I was at the last battle, and then for some reason I was like, this is tough, man. How do I get any stronger? And I realized I still had other battles I could go do after all these years. So eventually, maybe I'll replay that game too. <laughs> I think the music is part of the reason I was so, uh, attached to that game as well. Not to mention the 3D Pokemon adventure. I believe the main character we play as, he uh, escaped because he was actually part of that team's, team Snagum or something like that, and he ended up leaving, um, and there was a kidnapped girl, and then there was this weird guy with flowing hair, and uh, gosh. I don't think anyone really explains the actual point of the game, but you just are supposed to follow the plot line. I don't know, it's been such a long time for me. <laughs> I just recently saw a friend of mine, I had him play on my GameCube, and uh, I was kind of trying to relive through that, but he wanted to play by himself, so whatever. <laughs> I'll have to just replay on my own sometime. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are your starters, I guess. Um... Yeah. And then that's all you have until you start stealing Pokémon from other, like, bad guys. <laughs>
<laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I mean, I guess in that game, it was supposed to be that you're stealing from the bad guys, so I don't know. But that's a good point. It's just funny. They're pretty wholesome, I have to admit. <laughs> you think Ash is a bad guy? Has he done something bad? I don't know. I haven't watched any Pokemon episodes since, like, I'm gonna say, I think I watched some Diamond and Pearl back when it was airing. Because it would come out before I went to school. I didn't stop watching for a long time.
to say, I think Ash was a lot more interesting in season one. Oh, yeah. They always do. And also, by the way, welcome, Jen. Good to see you. How are you doing? <laughs> Did you ever decide if you were going to replay that episode? That's true. Proud of him. Although I don't understand why they had to keep him from winning for so long. It's not like, you know, after each league, he would be going on to a brand new league, so... It's not like he's considered a master because he completed one league in one, you know? He needs to go back and win all the other leagues he lost. <laughs> Although I am interested in the new season, like the, uh, the new series. I'm curious, has anyone started watching that one at all? trying to download uh, Fantasy Star today, um, but I've been having issues, so that's been a delay. Oh well. Yeah, that's how I felt. Like, ever since Misty left, I was like, what? That's how I felt. I, I didn't even watch very much of uh, the Hoenn seasons with May. I only watched a little bit. It was just too hard without Misty. <laughs> You think so? I've heard that theory too, but I don't know if they just like feel like there needs to be something new besides just Ash all the time. That's supposed to be the the new the main character of the same level as Ash, but without actually getting rid of Ash. Because you'd think that if they wanted to get rid of Ash, they would have at least started aging him up. I don't know, but it just seems like that would be the case. Yeah, I mean, like, you can't be a master just completing one league. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess they just wanted to change things up a bit. I'd, I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't know. I don't know for sure if Go is non-binary. I know a lot of people were saying they believed that they would become like that or a girl at the at some point. But I think it was confirmed at some point that Go is actually a boy, just kind of feminine looking. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it is in the people's eyes who created the series, the thought is like, it's a kid show, so we don't care about continuity, but it's still frustrating sometimes. <laughs> I 
it's surprising how much the uh, Pokemon company really attached onto that Pokemon Go, even though it was created by like an outside source like uh, Niantic, you know. It's funny, I actually played Ingress before Pokemon Go was ever created. I guess that's true, so they probably pitched it at some point, and then they're like, oh yeah, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Pokemon Go in years. I only reinstalled it that one time for the episode, if you remember me talking about it. <laughs> I like the um, MCL episode. I think it was a spinoff. Yeah. I, I played, like, the first what was it, the summer it came out for, like, several months. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it was a pretty big file, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Something about Pokemon Go doing a, uh, you know, at-home abilities for the for the virus, the pandemic thing. Um, I didn't know much about it. I guess they give you passes, remote raids. Um, but wow, yeah, not everyone is close by uh, a gym that has to be within sight. <laughs> So they still want you to get out and do stuff. They just don't want you to get out, like, around other people, I guess.
that's fine. That's cool. Look at that. Wow. Any of you guys play uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth? That's what this song's from. Sounds like uh, Spirited Away.
This almost sounds like Mario Kart. Shuffle not on anymore. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey guys, I'll be right back, okay? I gotta go do something real quick. I'll be back, okay?
Do it. <sighs> Hello, I'm back. What's that, kitty cat? I'm gonna need you to get off of that. Wait, where'd the music go? Oh, sorry about that. I don't know why the music stopped.
Thank you. 
What's happening? Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Holy crap. What's happening? Hi! Hi, everyone! <laughs> My goodness. Holy moly. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> you guys are sweet. Thank you. Thank you, you guys are so sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like overwhelmed. <laughs> goodness gracious, hi. <laughs> How's everyone doing this evening? <laughs> I'm doing quite all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all of a sudden we get like a mix of music here, you know. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream. I'm just like drawing stuff, so. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> oh jeez, are you guys okay? <laughs> you okay? quiet for the last hour or something so I'm like I don't know what to say <laughs> well, I don't know if you're here for conversation or just to watch me draw but <laughs> thank you oh my goodness that was is that what raids all about <laughs> here we go this is music that fits better <laughs> So where'd you guys come from? Like, what'd you, what were you guys doing before? How's all that raid stuff work, anyway? Oh, okay. So you're streaming before Harry Hair? Hair? What's a stool? Marbles. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, alright, I'll keep drawing. <laughs> you guys go ahead and chat if you'd like. I'm gonna keep a, a chat on the side here. Thank you, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> Yeah. 
um, updated. Alright, I'll go back to drawing. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have a Discord below the Twitch stream right here, so you guys are free to join there and post art. I think I have a, an art section, but it might just be under the Harvest Moon section there. Yeah, I'll make a general fan art section. Or artwork. There we go. It's done. You guys are welcome to put anything in there, as long as it's not like, you know, obviously bad, so. I mean, seriously, feel free to it. in the Twitter feed down there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I believe the link still works, but if it doesn't, let me know and I'll update it. Yeah, I think it still works. So we have Firestorm who just joins. Every day is a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> oh, because you're on the phone. Does anyone know where else I could put the link? for people who are on the phone? Like, how's that work? I'm a little bit of a noob here. <laughs>
There we go, invite. Alright. Here, I'm gonna put it on top of this screen right here. It's really big. Oh, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. I'll be doing another stream tomorrow, but playing Harvest Moon or Wonderful Life. So if you feel like it, feel free to stop by again. Okay. Have a good evening or day, wherever you're from. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is. Okay. There you go, guys. For you. Sure. Are you Firestorm? Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> oh cool! I like your artwork, that's really nice. You should keep working at it. I especially like the Charizard. I think that you're doing good. You definitely keep practicing and you'll get even better. Just like me, I I gotta keep practicing too. <laughs> but yeah, you got you're definitely doing good. So let's see. With Charizard here. Let's see. So one first tip I'd give, if I were to, um, when you're coloring with colored pencils, um, you color, uh, how do I explain this? Either you want to color in one direction, or you want to try to color in a way where you're trying to do shading. Um, depends on what you're most comfortable with, though. Kind of uh, sprung on me, so I'm just like spaced out here. Sorry about that. But yeah, you're doing good. I can give, I could talk to you more about it after the stream at some point. Yeah, these are very nice. <laughs> All right, drawing time.
Okay. Yeah, thanks for stopping by and sharing your artwork with me. It was really fun. And feel free to talk at Discord anytime you like. And have a good evening or day, depending on where you're from. And thank you.
I'm gonna take a break from the duck for a moment.
Oh, I'm a dummy. I could have just done this. an appropriate font. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Galaxy Lord Roxas. Do you go by Roxas or Galaxy Lord? Roxas, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? chilling here, listening to some good jams. Thank you. 
no wrong layer. When there's so many layers, it gets a little bit overwhelming sometimes.
you like 3D, huh? Aw, thank you. Hello. Not so ancient. Do you go by Natsu then? Thank you for like the spark. I like the sparkly eyes too. I actually had to go through redrawing them because I didn't like how they looked before. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream. I actually do some 3D work myself. But I work in like Maya and do like uh... I mostly work with things that would go with games, you know? So CAD, huh? Mm. So like in 3D, I do things like objects and people and uh, work on the textures and like rigging so that I can animate them and maybe put them into games, things like that. I probably could Maybe. Dude. I mean, I don't know. I didn't go to school for graphic design, but I could I could say I could probably do it, but I don't want to disrespect people who actually went to school for that. <laughs> yeah, props, characters, things like that. What kind of CAD work do you do? So like, uh, architecture stuff or what? Go by Halfling, or do you have another name you prefer? Welcome to the stream. Okay. Halfling. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. like a portfolio or something? You're probably really good then. Well, that's still an important job, I'm sure. So cool. I have a Discord link above um, that's still active, I think. Um, if you ever felt like sharing any of your work, I have an artwork section in there.
Alright, so I'll get to Halfling's questions first. Question first. Um, my favorite anime? Man. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is probably like Detective Conan, but I also really like Dragon Ball, Cardcaptor Sakura. I like the classics. <laughs> Favorites, huh? That's difficult. Yeah, I like that show. I actually only really have to... I probably should watch more of it. I watched it back in the day. Um, what, like, uh... You know, like back in early, like the mid 2000s. Yeah. Again, I probably need to watch it in order because I'd always watch it on like Adult Swim, and it would always be out of order. So probably should actually just watch the show in order sometime. <laughs> What's your thoughts on it, King? Just seemed confusing to you? Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Gosh. Legend of the Galactic Heroes sounds familiar. Obviously, I know Evan Dalian. <laughs> um, <laughs> again, uh, I know all about Evangelion, but I never actually really watched it. It's another one I need to watch. <laughs> That sounds familiar too. Oh. I need to get out of my box. I swear. <laughs> I watched a little bit of it when they uh, were re airing it earlier 2010s. Oh. <laughs> what sorts of- do you like anime at all, King? watching anything? I mean, it's not technically anime. Um, it's not technically anime, but my friend has wanted me to watch Power Rangers. <laughs> um, so I guess I was watching that a little bit a while ago. What? What do I even watch? <laughs> do I watch anything? 
Oh, Inuyasha was a good show. I liked that a lot when I was a kid. I watched a Beyblade um, that came out in the early 10s. I think it was uh, Metal Fusion or something like that. That was interesting. But that was like before I would go to high school and everything. Is that the right one? Uh, not too long ago, uh, like, last year, I tried actually watching through the series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I didn't actually watch all of it when I was a kid. I was curious about it. But I didn't get to finish it yet. <laughs> Let's see, any modern anime have I watched? Uh, I watched The Seven Deadly Sins before they uh, did their newer season. No, they keep doing new like series, I believe, and I'm, I'm actually talking about the first series. I haven't even finished that one. <laughs> Silent Voice, I heard that one was good. Did you hear about what happened to Kyoto Animation last year, I think? Or, or beginning of this year, actually, with the fire? first Kyoto animation show I probably watched was maybe uh, Air TV or yeah I think it might have been Air TV Oh, I remember when that wasn't really a, a big thing. Man, those are all shows I really need to watch. I watched, a, I read a little bit of K-On! and watched a little bit of it back then. Nah, it's normal. <laughs> Wait, did you say something? When did all this happen? Oh, shoot. You mean the fire? <laughs> Sorry, Roxas. Oh, who's subscribing? Wait. Wait, I gotta see. Thank you for following! But Roxas, um, you didn't hear about the fire? Like, uh, some person in Japan set their uh, studio on fire, like their their first studio, and uh, they supposedly because that person thought that they had stolen their work, the person got caught, but a lot of people died and were injured, and so like if you haven't seen anything from Kyoto Animation in a long time, that's why. Yeah, it was like devastating. I can't remember. I think it was like 
what was it, like 41 people were injured, 20, like 21 died, jeez, uh, I can't remember, but I was following the news when it first happened, like in what, February? Yeah, they're like really set back because of it, because they lost so much of their equipment, you know, that first building has like a lot of their, like, works archived from like back in the 80s or things like that if i remember correctly this is something else I think I've heard of it. hearing about these stars I've seen so many reviews I feel like I might as well have already called myself watching the show <laughs> Pretty famous movie. My god, Grave of the Fireflies. Yeah, it's pretty famous, so I'd be surprised if it didn't. Too, but I just built up a tolerance for it over the years. <laughs> or just learn how to read faster. <laughs>
thank you. Well, yeah, have fun. I mean, like, basically just on that Discord, you're probably welcome to do anything as long as you're not, like, harassing people, right? <laughs> thing about anime is a lot of times there's like you're missing out on a lot of different op options because you know lots of shows just haven't been dubbed you know There we go. Me? I, I've been meaning to make like a portfolio site. Um, gosh, I have places all over. Um, I have like 3D work on ArtStation. Um, on ArtStation, you can just find me on Poopoo. Gosh, then I have a DeviantArt, but I haven't <clears throat> actually even posted on it since, gosh, 2017. And even before then, I hadn't posted on it since 2013. Um, so I really just gotta make a portfolio website eventually. <laughs> like two things on my art station but that's because I'm a perfectionist and I feel like nothing else deserves to be on art station. <laughs> things on it. Yeah, 
now. Thank you, yeah. And this airplane, I actually done more with it since this picture, I just haven't posted it yet. done much for 3D in a long time. I only just started getting back to it again not too long ago with like editing stuff so I can get my muscles all like used to it again, you know? But because of that, like, I feel like my digital painting is a- it could have been better. I'm used to like digital stuff. I'm used to traditional stuff more, you know? Well, no, that's not true. I'm actually better used to t the digital artwork, but, um... I've been practicing a lot more with, like, ink and colored pencils, so there's that. Uh... Do I have anything that I've done lately with that? Again, I'll have to just make a portfolio and then I'll post it to maybe Discord eventually, you know? Oh, you do your uh, portfolio in VR now? What do you do in VR? That's super cool though. I want to get into VR also. Like, I wanted to do, like, VR chat when I first started hearing about it. I was like, I want to make my own avatar and chat with people on that. to like get back into it more and then I'll like be able to do it but then I just need to learn how to actually like um rig them for VR I guess I mean I know how to rig but how do you actually do like how do you make it so the character works for VR you know what I'm saying that's what I gotta learn how to do like, and, uh, any facial recognition would be sweet, too, you know?
Oh, wow. Oh, so you're in the uh, East Coast then, huh? All right. Well, good to see you. Good to meet you, Roxas. Hope you'll join us again soon. Tomorrow I'll be doing a Harvest Moon Wonderful Life game stream. If you'd like, you're welcome to come join us then too. I usually stream starting around 7 or 8 p.m. CST. Um, so yeah. Anyway, have a good evening. For me right now, it's uh, almost midnight, so I'm in the central United States. I should think about getting off soon. I've messed up my sleep schedule. <laughs> So tomorrow's stream will be, like I said before, around like, uh, I believe it will be 7 p.m. Central Time, so then it would be 8 p.m. your time. Uh, that I usually am either 
There, there are times I'm a little bit late, but I should be on tomorrow if something doesn't happen. Other than that, I'll make an update if anything comes up. Alright? <laughs> okay. If you're... Do you get uh, notifications for when people go live? Midnight, I'll cut off for the evening and I'll be back on tomorrow. Okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll just be playing Harvest Moon. Have you ever played? Have you heard of that one or played it before? curious about it before the stream starts I have other videos and I actually started this game um what like seven days like not literally seven days ago but I've been streaming this game for seven days so if you're curious to watch like the beginning of it it's on the channel still Looks like you got some good picks right there. Thing is, Harvest Moon's like pretty relaxed game, so I hope you'll be okay with that. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit closer to Animal Crossing on chill levels. <laughs> fine with that. And, uh, Halfling, if you're interested in seeing me possibly rage at a game, I do have a few more action games I possibly will be starting soon, so keep an eye out for that, you know. For example, uh, I don't know if I will be streaming it, but I have started barely, um, what's it called? Uh, 
It's like the Elder Scrolls game. Uh, took an arrow to the knee. What's that one called? Uh, Skyrim, yeah. So there's that one, for example. <laughs> You know, it took an arrow to the knee, that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was such a big meme back then. I'm looking forward to finding that part of the game out. artist professionally I'm hoping to be <laughs> um, I mean depends on if professionally means you're already employed or you're looking to be employed because <laughs> I went to school for art so hopefully that would be the plan <laughs> it's difficult arts a very competitive field <laughs> since I've actually watched or read anime, manga, things like that. But, I mean, it's part of who I am by this point, so... I've been dabbling in that stuff since, gosh. What? A long time. <laughs> Started on collectibles. I have a ton of books for one thing. Um, geez. I could probably fill up almost three bookshelves, but I've actually had to get rid of some books because I only have two bookshelves. And as of right now, none of them can be displayed because my bookshelves are at my parents' house. <laughs> so they're all in boxes, but sentiment is felt. Retrieve the books. 
Are you asking me to go get, let me think, how much, how many books fit on one shelf? Let's say like 30 books from my parents' house. Oh, I have the books here with me, but they're all in boxes. My bookshelf is at my parents' house. <laughs> I have like two full-size bookshelves that hit the ceiling. Um... I have at least a couple thousand manga. I mean, something like that. Probably. Maybe 8,000? I don't know. I haven't counted. I know they're in the hundreds at least. Thank you! <laughs> we'll check it out. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> I love how Daryl has a bow tie. <laughs> Now we just need to find one with Jack on it. <laughs> or what's his name, Mark? You know, the main male character. <laughs> yeah, Mark. Okay. That'll be cool. Ooh. Damn. Wait, let me see this stuff. Damn. Sitting here watching my dinky stream when you can do this. <laughs> That's amazing, man. I need to get on your level. <laughs> That's excellent, though. Maybe I will create it then, or someone can. It's true, man. Seriously. You have a truly amazing talent. Man. You really don't need to do 3D art when you can do all that. <laughs> See, the problem about me is I have, like, uh, a lot of interests, so I can't get... I mean, it's not that I can't. That's a, that's a giver upwards way of speaking. But because I have lots of different interests, I don't get as good at any of them. <laughs> no? Seriously! Don't tell me you don't know that you're good. My god. Man. This is sick. Like, I'm excited just looking at all these. Yeah, true talent. That's so cool. Man, 
Yeah, that's the problem. Haters only- you only get haters if you're popular enough to be noticed and thought of, you know? So, in a way, getting haters means that people are thinking of you, right? <laughs> But I know it sucks anyway. Kane, what did you say that I was your drawing or no? Huh, you need to share what you can do. Kane, you gotta post what you've actually made. <laughs> we gotta see it. We can uplift each other, right? It'll be a community of like people helping each other out and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can put it in artwork if it's not Harvest Moon. And you can put it in Harvest Moon if it is Harvest Moon. There you go. do backgrounds better. <laughs> like, the frustrating thing is, is like, I can sketch pretty quickly these days, but when it comes to digital painting, I'm like super slow because I end up getting perfectionist-like, you know?
baby boy, the boy baby. Oh, I like that name. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the stream. We're actually going to be getting off soon because it's already midnight, but um, I will be back on tomorrow evening if you're going to be around. Yeah. Well, half only I feel you. Because, like, when I was younger, I would never be able to turn in my work because I was such a perfectionist that I had to, like, force myself to learn how to take well enough. And now that's all I do, and I'm like, man, have I made a mistake? <laughs> Boy, baby boy, the boy baby. <laughs> Man, I could just like... I, no, I'm not giving you a nickname. I'm gonna have to say your name from all the way. It's just too good. <laughs> baby boy, the boy baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check out your artwork too, Kane. Oh, so cute! That is adorable. There you go. You're definitely, you're right down my alley, baby boy, the boy baby. Way to, to quote, um, Bob Ross. Yep. The happiest little accidents. God, I feel bugged that I didn't at least finish this, like, layer of hair. Oh, you speak only in quote. Who did you quote this time? Uh oh. I thought that might be the case. If you could somehow get a clearer image, it would be really helpful. You should post some more of those. They're really cute. Sadly, I was never a boy baby. <laughs> it's a good point, boy baby. Baby boy. Do you have a scanner at all, Kane? Man, that, sh that sucks. Have you ever considered doing, like, digital art? Like, working even with, like, a mouse if you don't have a tablet or something? Baby boy, the boy baby. <laughs> Man, I can't help it. I gotta try to finish shading the under part of this. It's gonna bug me otherwise.
There we go. <laughs> yeah, Kane, if you have a scanner, use a scanner. You make sketchy work for you. I don't know why, I'm just like, it tickled me a lot. Because username tickles me. does have the vector way of doing things. However, Photoshop has a pen tool too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe we should have a writing section, so that if anyone is a writer, they can share their writing. Cause that's what my brand's all about, is creativity. I like creativity in general. Like I said, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades. Not all trades, but many trades. Exactly. I've written a a short amount of fan fiction before. <laughs> they were alright. Oh, I love friendship stories! Yeah, totally feel free to share stories or like links to any of your writings. I'll add a, I'll add a section in Discord. Oh, I'll make an artwork, um, section or something like that. Wait, where did it go? Oh, it's down there. No, I'll rename artwork channel. Art. Then we'll make another one for writing. Cool. There you go, guys. Really? That's amazing. You you published a book? Man, you guys are talented. That's amazing. 
When you say just started streaming on Twitch, first of all, you're talking to me, right? Second of all, when you say just started, do you mean like for today or in general? Because, uh, no, I'm actually probably gonna get off soon for today. But as far as the uh, span of time, I'm kind of new, yeah. I like my first Twitch stream was the first episode of playing A Wonderful Life Harvest Moon. And today's like actually just my seventh day streaming. So, yeah, pretty new. Yeah, yep, I am. <laughs> Yeah, I'm super new. Yeah. I mean, I've done streaming and YouTube videos in the past, but I'm new to Twitch. I mean, I've had this account since, what, 17? But I haven't done anything with it. <laughs> what got me into streaming? I guess the idea... Oh. Yeah, I guess the idea of uh, just sharing my workflow in general just seemed interesting. I was already doing a few streams on YouTube, but um, I was told Twitch handles live streaming a lot better. So, yeah. Anyway, it would, I think it would be really cool. If I was home all the time and I was working on the computer, in my opinion, it'd be like, why not just, like, stream all the time, you know? That's how I feel about it. <laughs> or at least stream whenever I'm doing something on the computer that's worth sharing. Like, whether it be playing games, or drawing something, or 3D modeling, even making music eventually, programming... Um... Maybe even sewing. I'd have to figure out how to do a tripod for that, though. But my whole thing is gonna be about creating stuff. What you could always do is if you have like a, an AO3 or a fan fiction or wherever you post your writing, you could always post a link to the writing channel. Um, because otherwise you're right, it would probably get really long. But um, you could probably put writings on uh, on docks or drive, you know? Oh. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. I haven't written fanfiction in a long time, but um, I've probably written some weird stuff in my day. I'm not gonna lie.
That's probably fine for now. No? No. Bugs. Oh god. <laughs> I could write something weird. Not wouldn't take long. Depends on kind of weird stuff you can handle. <laughs> and then we'll publish it. Totally not a troll, guys. <laughs> no, because I, I legitimately believe in the ship. almost it's almost 12 30 here I guess I will have to retire for the evening I know we'll make it happen in roleplay form during gameplay starting tomorrow but it is time for me to retire for the evening so I can get my beauty rest. <laughs> so much for that, right? <laughs> but anyway, I, I need to get my sleep schedule back, so... So it's good night for now. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. I think she'll be okay with it. I hope she'll be okay with it. <laughs> She's not wife yet. She's obligatory wife, but that's it. Alright guys, anyway. Good night. I'll depart with you on this lovely song. It sounds like it works well with the uh, departure feeling. So with that I say, good night, see you soon. <laughs>